Hi, I'm Hugh Womack, an Instruction and Outreach Librarian here at the Z. Smith Reynolds Library at Wake Forest University. And today, I'm going to introduce you to the open source free citation management tool called Zotero. It's a great way to organize your research and cite your sources. So today in this workshop, we're going to do three things. We're going to download Zotero and install it. We're going to download the browser plugin, and we're going to create a Zotero account. So let's get started. We're going to Zotero.org, that's Z-O-T-E-R-O dot O-R-G, and we're going to click the download button. I'm going to download Zotero 5.0 for Mac or PC. I'll be leading the class today on a Mac, but I'll be filling in PC information as we go. I'm going to save the .dmg file that you download for a Mac to my desktop. If you're on a PC, that'll be a .exe file. We'll be using the Chrome browser today, and when you download something in Chrome in the lower left corner, you see a nice shortcut to it. So we'll be opening up that DMG file and installing. If you're on a Mac, excuse me, if you're on a PC, you'll download the .exe and install that. On the PC, you'll have to click Next, Next, and Finish to complete the install, but on the Mac, you'll do what I do and simply drag the red Z icon onto the Applications folder to complete the install. If you've already got Zotero on your computer, it will warn you that you are going to replace it, and that's all right, because replacing the program doesn't cover up any data. If you've been using Zotero in the past, you won't lose a thing. You'll simply upgrade your software. Once you've upgraded the software or installed the software, you can close any install windows and come back to this screen. We still need to install the Chrome connector. That's the browser plugin. You can use this with Firefox, Safari, or Chrome. It works best with Chrome, so we're going to lead this session using Chrome and installing the Chrome connector. This will take you out to the Chrome Web Store. If this says remove from Chrome, you've already got the browser plugin. Congratulations. Do not remove it from Chrome. If this says add to Chrome, click on the add to Chrome button. Once we've added the browser plugin, or confirmed that we already have the browser plugin, what we want to do now is open up the Zotero program. To open up Zotero, if you're on a Mac, you're going to look under the Applications folder, or the Finder, or the Launchpad. I'm going to open up Zotero, and you can see I already have a great deal of sources stored in my Zotero library. You will probably only see the Zotero user guide, unless you've used this before in another class and you already see some sources stored here. On a Mac, I'm going to go to Zotero and look for preferences. On a PC, I'll go to Edit and look for preferences. Either way, I need the preferences window open. I'm going to click on the Sync tab, and I need to enter my username and password for Zotero. If you've never used Zotero before, you'll need to create a Zotero account using the Create Account link over on the right. Click on that Create Account link, and it will open up your default web browser. Don't panic if that's not Chrome. You can simply create an account with whatever default browser pops up. And after you create that account, come back to this login screen and log in to your Zotero account. It's very important that you log into your Zotero account. And once you've logged into your Zotero account, syncing will automatically occur. This means that Zotero's free cloud account will back up any sources that you store in Zotero. This is really handy. This means if the Deacon Station shuttle ever runs over your laptop and you get another laptop, you'll simply be able to go to this sync tab, log into this sync tab, and all of the sources that you stored in Zotero will magically reappear. This is a handy tool. We're also going to change a setting under the Site tab by clicking on Site and clicking on Word Processors. And under Word Processors, we are going to check the box that says Use Classic Add Citation Dialog. This simply makes it a little easier to use Zotero. Once you've done this, you can close this window. We've now successfully installed Zotero. We've successfully installed the Chrome connector for Zotero. And we've created an account so that anything we store in Zotero will be safely backed up to our free Zotero Cloud account. Now that you've gone through these steps, you're ready for video number two, Getting Sources into Zotero. Thanks for your attention.